Yep, that's pretty much our life these days. Totally connected, which can also mean totally distracted. And there are some very real side effects to this growing addiction. At number one, phantom vibration syndrome. You know, when you think your cell phone is vibrating, but after checking, it's clear you are wrong? Once every two weeks, well, that's normal, but if you start experiencing this more often, it's time to put your phone in airplane mode and go on a cell phone fast. Turn off my phone. Next, the text claw. It's a consequence of repetitive fine motor activity, aka a long text sesh, and it leaves your fingers, wrist, and forearms sore. If you suffer from this, you may want to mix it up and try talking instead of texting, or at least ice the hands between your novel length communication to friends. And finally, a little thing we like to call sight fright. There's a higher incidence of nearsightedness or myopia that's been developing since people have been using uh, more and more their, their handheld devices. With countless hours spent glued to our phones, optometrist Tim Sinek says our eyeballs had to adapt. The eye develops longer than a normal uh, length eye, and a longer eye will see better up close but won't see as well in the distance. The best way to prevent myopia is to limit cell phone use, but that's not very easy. So try the 20-20-20 rule. If you're reading for 20 minutes, you need to look up at an object 20 foot away and keep looking at that object for probably 20 seconds. Then go back and read again. Cell phone probs diagnosed on the lowdown. <laughs>